I bear testimony that Elijah did come. The hearts of the children of you and me have turned to our fathers, our ancestors. The affection you feel for your ancestors is part of the fulfillment of that prophecy. It is deeply seated in your sense of who you are. Hi, my name is Ines, and I'd like to share a personal story with you. Before I started serving my full-time mission for the church in the Germany Berlin area, apart from having heard stories about my grandparents, I did not know too much about the history of my family. But that was about to change very soon. When I arrived in the mission field, our mission president challenged us to work on and complete the pamphlet, My Family. I decided to ask my mother for help and a few weeks later I received a completed pamphlet along with some old photographs of people I had never seen before. My first area was the city of Kiel in northern Germany and while studying the pamphlet I learned that my great-grandparents Gottlieb and Pauline Viborni got married there. They were found and baptized by missionaries like myself walking the same streets and inviting others to come unto Christ. I learned that my great-grandfather could not wait to be baptized, so the missionaries had to dig a hole in the frozen surface of a nearby lake during a very hard winter season. Later on, he served a construction mission in Germany and built a chapel like the one in Kiel. Every time I entered that building, I could better understand and feel the great effort and sacrifice my ancestors had made in helping to establish the church in Germany. When I was called to my second area, the city of Bremen, it felt just right, even though I had never been there before. I learned that my father's mother, Elfriede Viborni, after whom I am named, got to know my grandfather Hans Viborni at one of the harbor's docks. Both were already members of the church and got married shortly after. After the turmoil of World War II, they moved to a small town called Brake, from where they traveled to Bremen every Sunday to attend church meetings. They both dearly loved the Lord and his gospel and shared its message with everyone. Later on my mission, I was called to serve in the capital, Berlin, where my grandfather Franz Heinrich Obst was born as well as my mother's grandmother, Marie Brandmeier, the last ancestor of her line we knew of. I very much enjoyed serving in the capital, but one day I received a call from my mission president, who said he'd had the strong feeling I should return to the city of Bremen, as my mission there was not yet completed. So far, in each of my assigned areas, there had been a direct link to my ancestors, and I was blessed with a deeper knowledge of and affection towards them. But there was even more to learn and discover. Back in Bremen, I was able to receive a birth certificate of my great-grandmother, on which I could read the name Albertine Brandmeier. She was my first ancestor I had ever found. And as I continued following this trace, I was blessed to find many more in the area of Bremen and Berlin. Because of the experiences on my full-time mission, my family history and my ancestors became vivid and important to me and I gained the desire to serve a lifelong mission to find more relatives and ancestors waiting to hear the redeeming message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I testify that God the Father wants his children home, again, in families and in glory. The Savior lives, he directs and blesses this work, and he watches over and guides us. He thanks you for your faithful service in gathering his Father's family and I promise you the inspired help that you seek and need. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.